What's up, YouTube? This is Will Rebecca's Pro, and welcome to another episode of Get Vonerhard. Now, unfortunately, my capture card was being stupid, and I wasn't able to capture game chat. Well, I was, but it wasn't as clear as I would like it to be. So it wasn't like you'd be able to hear it very well. So I decided to talk over this now. I will get that fixed in the future, but for now, let's discuss what's going on on this map. So this, of course, as you saw a little bit ago, is, is Port Vaughn. Really, this is Von Harsh shipyard, I guess. Well, it's not really a shipyard. It's just a bunch of cargo crates and everywhere. And, you know, this this map is actually pretty good for Von Harsh and kids now. I set up camp behind this cargo container. And this one kid up there, the sniper, he thinks he can get me. Now, I end up going 30-2 and two this game. So, pretty good. Pretty good for this map. Now, uh, yeah, there's a few spots I'd like to Von Harsh kids at. One is this spot. And there's also a spot that I moved to later on in the game across the map now I just gotta pitch my tent right here now this is a pretty good area because you know to the left of me is that area right behind the cargo container and I have a claimer down there so that's pretty good now when some kid thinks he can try to kill my claymore I obviously can outsmart him and keep in mind guys I have extend mag on for a reason so I can just spray around corners and not really have to worry about reloading now the spawns on this game are pretty bad because there's also uh, there's a cargo there's a not a cargo thing I meant what do you call it um, a spawn over by that garbage can over there that that dumpster that kids spawn at and I can just pick them off as they run out of their spawn like a noob so yeah it, this is a really good spot to camp at I mean once I get my guardian and my sentry gun it just gets a whole lot better. Now, this game is pretty slow-paced at that minute. I think it's, it goes on, like, near the time limit. It's, like, near time limit uh, free-for-all, which is pretty slow for Black Ops 2, especially. But this is the way the game is meant to be played, guys. This is the way Von Hart wants me to play. This is the way Von Hart wants you to play. I mean, why else would he put a Riot Shield, a Target Finder LMG, Guardian Sentry Guns, Claymores, all that other stuff in the game? He wouldn't. But the fact that he does, I mean, it really means he he's encouraging us to play this way. So, you know, I have to I have to do what Von Her wants. To do what Von Her say any like I have to you know, follow Von Her and this is what he wants. if this is what he wants to do, then so be it. But he can't. And these these kids keep trying to take me out. The funny thing is that these kids think they actually have a chance of taking me out, but they don't really. Unless they, of course, sneak up on me, but keep in mind, guys, my back is covered, it's to the water, there's really no way they can get me, and, you know, without that sentry gun up, they can't get me from the front, and they can't get me from the back. So, good luck on taking me out, guys. Good luck, because I am set, guys. This is Camp David Vonhar, and Camp David Vonhar is, has it, we have an arsenal of camp equipment, so good luck getting past my, oh, how'd that kid get past <laughs> To the to this day, I still don't know how like he got past my sentry gun. Stupid sentry! My Vonner gun's just not doing his job. You know, just like Vonner's not doing his job, he's probably gonna copy and paste Von Black Ops Three. To watch it be a copy paste of Advanced Warfare, Ghost, Bo Two. So we'll just watch. I'm calling it, guys. It's gonna be copy and paste. But my Vonner hate waves doing work. I don't know how kids can get past that without destroying it. So yeah, that's doing work. Uh, my Vonner gun up there, it's doing all right, but, you know, these kids actually think they can take me out, and, you know, I'm surprised more people aren't coming over here, because I'm sure as hell attracting a lot of attention with that sentry gun, my unsuppressed LMG, all my camping equipment, you know, I should have, like, the whole enemy, the whole enemy, all the enemies, like, just rushing, like, I mean, like, sometimes I get that, sometimes I don't. You know, you, in free-for-all, you have good games, you have bad games. Sometimes you don't have good games like this because if you die, like typically if you die off a streak, right? Or you just get killed in general, you spawn in a random-ass location and then like you die within two seconds. And that, hap that, like, that basically happens for about seven times or so until you finally get into a spawn where you don't die within two seconds. And that's just kind of how the game works because, you know... You know, the spawns in free-for-all are probably some of the worst spawns that I've ever seen in Call of Duty. 
they are just terrible, especially like Nuketown spawns. Um, there's a few other maps that have terrible spawns. Like, uh, raid isn't too bad, but you know when they spawn you in the middle of the map, like the like the very middle, and you're trying to get to either end of the map, like to camp, you have to fight a lot of people just to get to the, your desired location. It, it gets pretty annoying, but you know, it could be a lot worse. But it, it's fi it's fine. I mean. Most of the time it works out like this. I was camping behind my, uh, behind my shield, my trusty Vonner shield. And, you know, just waiting for you with my, because I have a Vonner sat up. And, you know, guys, I'm pretty much tied for first. So, I'm kind of proving right here to these kids that campers do always win. And, you know, they, they do. Also, another funny thing I've been doing on, um, on the trolling thing, they get Von Harm trolling, is that I've been pretending to be David Von Harm himself, and some kids actually believe me. It's actually pretty funny, and half the people believe me, or, or half the little kids at least, and the other half of the people don't even know who Von Harm is, which is pretty sad. Pretty sad, like, if you play someone's game and you don't even know who made it, they probably don't even know who Treyarch is, but, um, yeah, there's... This is Von Haring at its finest, guys. I mean, this kid, these kids think they can take me out. They think that, you know, they can... Th okay, they throw one AMP over here. Okay, World of Worst camping equipment's down. Let's go Russian. Nope. Get owned. Get Von hard. That kid still thinks he can take me out. Nope. How's that working out for you, kid? I'm still over here. Get, get camped. Get corner camped, noob. Now, I do pick up and plant my shield from time to time because, you know, um, it takes damage, especially explosive damage, so you need to pick it up and replant it, otherwise it won't recover its health and it can be blown up easier, which is unfortunate, but you know, though these kids think they can, I don't even know why they're even bothering to try to take me out. I mean, it's obvious that I'm, I'm behind a head glitch, I have a, a guardian. You're not gonna be able to kill me very easily, and the seven other people, the six other people besides me, that you need to be worrying about. So why are you worrying about me? You know, I always, I always like those people who they they see me, right? They see that I'm camping. They see where I pitch my tent, and they just want to keep coming back and coming back to try to kill me. And before you know it, they end up giving me like ten kills, and I only have like my all my streaks. I already earned all my streaks off of them. So yeah, that, that's that's what I really like. It's funny. Also funny when you get that one kid who like gets extremely mad at me, like for camping. Like really, kid. I my, I put it like I have a Vonerhard emblem, and I told you you're gonna get Vonerhard. So like that's my way of giving you fair warning. Like, what else do you want? What more do you want? Okay, so. Right around here, we're just about wrapping it, cleaning up here. We're just three more kills. I believe I'm about to go flawless. I was, I thought I was about to go flawless here, but no, I get sniped. You know, that kid actually. You know, I gotta give give that kid some credit there. He actually killed me, uh, me, and you know, of course he's using the wall hack perk, aka engineer. But you know. He he did what the twenty seven others could not do, and he killed me. So I, I gotta give him some credit here. Bravo! You killed the Vonerhar. You know what really should have happened was that kid, like when he's aiming down his sight, he should have been instantly blinded as he aimed towards my head because, you know, as you guys know, David Vonerhar, his head bald. He he spends at least three hours a day polishing the damn thing, so. He he literally should have been like flash bang, bang blinded as he aimed towards me because you know Vonahar, very bald, has a very shiny head, so yeah, he, he really should have been Vonahar. Okay, and then we just it's like look it, this game is going so slow paced guys. It, it we only have forty five seconds left and now I only need two more kills and then I won the game and I don't take any more deaths here, so one and two. And there it is, guys. Von Ahar and kids making snipers rage. No, that's a victory in my book. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this gameplay.
Hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. This has been World of War, and see you guys later. Fire!